Hello everyone, this is Sunita here. I am a registered and CSMLS certified MLT in Canada and I bring to you the steps for you to also become certified with a CSMLS and work as an MLT in Canada. This today's video will be a little bit about the costing, the minimum uh, amount of money that you actually need to start this DLA process and also a little bit about the documentation that um, is required to start the PLA prior learning assessment process with a CSMLS. What the PLA is, is um, a process for you to uh, evaluate your education, which was done outside of Canada and see how you can become eligible for the Canadian Society Medical Laboratory Science uh, exam. And, uh, also, this will be a series of videos that I will be making and therefore just stay tuned and hopefully this will help you along the way. So right now, I have made a um, concise checklist for you to um, go like a roadmap to go around this process. But before I start with that, I just want to thank everyone that has watched my video and has reached out to me. I am so grateful. I love the comments. I love the suggestions. And um, hopefully this will really uh, help people along the way to uh, become certified. And any questions that are not answered in my videos and uh, really reach out to CSMLS. They are a great organization, very understanding, and they can uh, be very helpful. They have helped me along the way. They can really um, help you with time constraints and any suggestion for your particular situation that uh, you might, uh, any doubt that you might be having. So let's dive in our checklist for today. So here I made a checklist for you. We will not be going through all of the different steps. I have um, 15 steps with a different um, costing. Um, let me share this, um, this, uh, slide, this document with you here. All right. So share, here you are. Okay. So now you should be seeing this 15 steps checklist that I have made. Um, it shows you the different, it's like a roadmap to go through this. Um, uh, this PLA process is, is process. It shows you some of the costings at the different points in time. There you go. Um, I can link that one um, for you to download. So, for, but the first step here that I have is to, for you to actually go on CSMLS website, the csmls.org and read about the PLA process. So how you do that is to go, uh, let me share this one with you, to go here. I'll share you, there you go. This is a CSMLS website, there you are, and then, Go there, go into certification and go to first steps to certification. And you will find these information. You have probably already read through that if you're watching my video, but if you haven't, just do it. And go down a little bit and go to this first steps to certification. There are these four steps. It looks simple but they can be, um, they can take you quite, uh, a little bit of time if you're not focused. So we'll click on get started here. Yes, get started. And click on the first step, which is all about reading the PLA process, which I've already mentioned. So we'll click on that and make sure you download the MLT PLA handbook. And don't confuse it with the MLA. Uh, handbook, which is also found on this website. Make sure you have the right one, which is for MLTs. So we'll click on it right now. Here you are. This is uh, around a 35 pages handbook, but this is everything you need to know about the PLA process. It's everything you need to know about how the exams are and what is expected of you. Anything you need to know about documentation, which is on page 17. I'll go right there right now. 
page 17. There you go. Is um, this will answer uh, the questions that I've been having about what documents do you need. So this is a required documentation checklist. So you can go through it, but we will not um, dive in this right now because there are a few different steps that you need to know before you start actually gathering documents. Because before gathering documents, you need to have a place for these documents to go. If you start going to universities, going to uh, different places to gather documents, you cannot take these documents home, keep them, and then waiting for the right time to send them to CSMS. You actually have to wait until you open an account with CSMLS and have a CSMLS ID before you start collecting documents because these documents need to be sent directly from your universities or from your credential evaluation body directly to CSMLS. So you will not be keeping any documents yourself. First, let's go through the other steps that you need to do before we get to that documentation checklist. So you can print this checklist, which is on page 17, as a guideline. I want you to print that. You will also need to print um, num page number 23, which is Appendix 1. This is your actual PLA application form, which you will be needing to fill to open an account with CSMLS. I want you to print that, but we are not there yet. First, there's a few different steps which we need to go through before actually starting to fill any form. There's a little bit of preparation that you need to do. So let me share, go back to this checklist that we have here. All right, there we go. So now that you've um, downloaded the handbook, You've printed your required document checklist. You've printed your um, appendix one, which is your application for the PLA. You can put that on the side. Now, the next thing I want you to do is to actually apply to become a CSMLS member. What that is, this step here will actually help you all throughout your PLA process to save you some money by getting um, membership rates. If you do not do this now, everything that you will pay will be maybe a hundred or more dollars, um, more than any other rates that members get. So I want you to be able to benefit from membership rates. So that's why we'll do this now. How you do this is now that you have this handbook, you are in, you can go in it. Let's share, go into that handbook. The handbook is found here. So go at the end of this appendix and you'll find a membership. Although um, you cannot be a certified member, you can, they, they um, ask you to apply, to apply as associate non-certified member. And you can click here and it will send you directly to that page. Here. And once you are on this, you can go to associate non certified. That's what I want you to do. It will cost you $132 Canadian dollars, but this will save you on all the rates onwards that you will be paying. Even um, for uh, the PLE application, you will start paying membership rates. Uh, when it comes to the exams, you will start paying membership rates. When it, start, uh, it comes to any courses that you will be doing with the CSMLS, you will be paying membership rates. And it gives you uh, also other free courses, uh, access to other uh, free courses that they have on their website. So definitely do this. I didn't do it and I actually paid a lot more than I should have. So that's one of the steps, um, the mistakes that I want you to avoid. So definitely go for the associate non-certified member membership. So once you have this form, you, how you do it is click on it and get this application form, print it out. Here it is, print it out. 
and fill it. We are not sending anything yet. So right now you have a few documents on your desk. You have this application form to become a member, which is around $130, which you need to have on your, um, on your credit card. You also have this other, the PLA application form. Let's go for it here. All right. Yeah. Let's go back to this PLA application form and go back to it. Here it is. So you have your PLA application form, and on this one, you will have. I want you to review the costing that you need to actually start the process. So here you are. What I was telling you about uh, the different fees. If you are a member, to start this process, you will need $820 along with your um, PLA application. But if you're non-member, it will cost you $875. So that's why I want you to become a member now. And later on, you will see how this will save you. All right. Since we are talking about costing, let's bring you to To this screen here where you will need um, this will be a little bit about the costing that you actually need to start the process make sure you have uh, a little bit more than a thousand dollars before you actually start sending anything so you need this 820 dollars to open your file with csmls which means it has to go along with that pla application form in appendix one you need that $130 to become a CSLMS member, and you need a $59.95 for the online self-assessment, which is a hundred questions that they ask you to do, and uh, they ask proof by asking you your username so that they can review your test score. And this will be also uh, a part of how they review um, your uh, situation as an MLT, your education. Um, it will be part of your review. So don't forget that this amount goes to around a thousand, but don't forget that you need a little bit more than that because this is excluding taxes. So always um, have a little bit more than a thousand so that you can start this process. Now we'll go back to our checklist here. We have um, read about the PLA, we have downloaded our PLA handbook. Um, we have our checklist, we have Appendix 1, we have already filled the membership form. Now the next thing I want you to do is to create an account with the CSMLS. Um, this account uh, will be used later on for um, all your um, activities with a CSMLS. How you do that, you go directly to CSMLS website as usual. Let's go here. This mouse website. And then uh, you will go up here to uh, log in and create a new account or create a new account. And you'll keep that information for later on. Now that we've gone to step four, go to the next step. Next step is to go through the self-assessment readiness tools. What is that? So let's go to this again to the CSMLS website here. There you go, the CSMLS website and uh, certification and the first steps. The certification, get started. We have read about the PLA, downloaded the handbook. Now we are on step number two, and we'll click on it. Click on medical lab technologist. This self-assessment readiness tool is actually a seven um, steps that they want you to do before you actually start the process. 
This is so that uh, to make sure that you actually want to do this. This is lengthy, this is expensive, and we don't want to waste your time and your money. So what you want to do is actually go for it. Go for it and see, do I really want to do this? So we'll click on it. The first step is pretty easy. I would actually do this um, probably on a weekend and you should be done uh, if you focus on it. So you can read about understanding medical laboratory science. This is kind of a live reading. I'm pretty sure that if you are watching this video, you probably have gone through a lot of readings about here is part one or part four about living and working in Canada. So these uh, steps are pretty easy. You could just go through it. If you have already read so much stuff about it, you could just browse through it. But the second part here is about rating your skills. It's like a 14 questions um, that they ask you to do. It's just a self-evaluation asking you to see who, oh, where, where are you at in, in terms of general laboratory practice? What are you at in terms of safe work practices? Uh, uh, do you, are you able to perform these practices independently? Do you need supervision or are you still um, learn, learning from it? They want you to evaluate yourself uh, here where one will be you have no experience and four would be you can perform them independently. I'm pretty sure if you are still studying, obviously you won't be able to start the PLA process. But if you have gone through clinical practice already, and passed, um, and you would probably be at number three if you are already working as an MLT. I'm pretty sure that a lot of these you can do independently or with little supervision. So this is this part would be pretty easy. So now let's go to part number three. Number three tells you a little bit about the purpose of registration and um, the role of the Canadian Society for Medical Laboratory Science. And I just wanted to comment on the, the third point here, which is what if I want to work in an unregulated province? What I do know is that although we have some provinces where there's no regulation about uh, needing a certification or a registration to work as MLT, I also do know that those employers require, um, their requirement is that you need to be a member with CSMLS for you to get a job with them. So in the end, there is no way around it. You have to go through the CSMLS certification to get a job even in the unregulated provinces. All right, now part four is about a little bit of reading about living and working in Canada, which you can browse through or read. Um, part five is a typical work day in Canada. They give you some examples of immigrants that are actually working. Uh, bear in mind also that these experiences will be different depending on provinces. And so do not be overwhelmed. Uh, uh, it's just to show you that you can People have actually achieved this and so do you. And part six is where I want you to do is um, a little bit of a quiz and case studies, which is quite interesting and will hopefully really help you to know uh, where you're standing at in terms of your theory um, on different um, levels and some case studies. So go through this one really carefully because this last part about the competency assessment uh, part seven, um, you have to be sure to uh, be ready by the time you reach this part, because once you click and view your results on your competency assessment here, you will no longer be able to access this self-assessment readiness, readiness tool. Although this is just a self-assessment, um, CSMLS will not be uh, judging you by this in, in a way, you, this is more for you to know where do you stand at? Am I really ready to start this lengthy process and start paying that much? If you feel you are not um, ready in your payments and, uh, and using this uh, PLA process. All right, so now, the next uh, step 
here. Let me share the screen here with you. I would like you to, once we are done with this self-assessment readiness tool, the next step would be to complete your personal competency rating booklet. This I want to I want to attempt uh, this booklet in the, my next video because this is quite a lengthy booklet and uh, I would like to uh, go into more details with it in the next video. But hopefully what we've learned in this video would be a little bit about the costing. You need around a thousand dollars, a little bit more to start this, this process. You need to start um, one of the first steps is to read the PLA. You need to download the PLA handbook, print the check required document checklist, print the PLA application, make sure you have that enough uh, money on your uh, credit card so that you can pay the fees. And then now uh, create an account with the CSMLS and take a a two day, take a weekend and go through this self assessment readiness tools. And hopefully, I will see you in my next video and we can go through um, this competency booklet, which is quite um, lengthy and you need to take some time for that. So, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, this is um, important, informative, and helpful. And we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye bye.